Hello everyone, this is Will. And this is Alex. And welcome back to They Mostly Come Out at Night. Mostly! Uh, so I'm going to have to apologize in advance. I am feeling a little bit under the weather, so if you hear me coughing... Um, and it's not because of the movie. Well, no. Um, I don't feel <laughs> ill because of that. But if you hear sniffling and coughing, that's all it is. So I apologize in advance. Alright, let's get into this episode. A Touch of Satan. The Touch of Satan. Is it uh, just a sprinkle of Satan. Hold on. A hint of Satan. Yeah, like you have a, a touch of salt. You know, you put a tablespoon okay. of garlic. So it is the touch of Satan. Yeah, a touch okay. of, uh, like, you know, an eye of newt, a tail of, <laughs> a tail of a salamander, and just a touch of Satan. It's just a tiny touch. A touch. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Oh man! Um, actually, surprisingly, not not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, this is the lowest rated horror movie of 1971, and I have to say I'm a little disappointed. I think it's like the best one we've watched so far, to be honest. Like, probably. I would argue this is yeah. like the best one. It's kind of strange. Like, it's not. I I shouldn't like preface this as like a good movie. Like, because some of the acting is terrible, the plot kind of jumps around a lot, but, yeah, you know, I mean, it's kind of dull in certain places, a lot of places, but it's it's certainly not the worst film I've ever no. watched. It's it's definitely not Octoman, no. it's definitely not Bigfoot. No, um, nothing is Bigfoot. Nothing can be Bigfoot. And I really hope that stays the case. I don't want anything to be Bigfoot. I think we're going to get worse than Bigfoot. I... I'm just waiting for it to happen. No. But yes, so... Bigfoot the... sits in that very fine line between, like, cheesy old vanilla shit and, like, the newer edgy stuff, and it just doesn't fucking bother going over it. And that's the problem with Bigfoot. The other movies we watched, they kind of go a little past it. That's true. Yeah. I, guess, I guess that's that's a fair point. Um... <laughs> So, shall we get into the movie then? Yeah. All right. Uh, Let's talk about the poster. All right. So, the poster, let me let me let me, you know. I can just tell you the quote. It oh, makes yeah. Rosemary's baby look like a Sunday school picnic. How, what how do, what do you think about that statement? Okay, I'm a huge fan of Rosemary's baby. I think it has a great plot, great like atmosphere setting and like great acting. Great acting, good horror, like it's just a well-made horror mm-hmm. film, right? This is absolutely nothing like it. I no. don't know how they are even closely comparing this to Rosemary's Baby. Because it has satanic elements, and that's it. Yeah, but Rosemary's Baby is a completely different plot. Like, not the same at all But this Satan. movie. But Satan. I don't care. But Satan. No, you don't get touch a touch of Satan. You don't get to compare yourself to Rosemary's Baby just because you have like a touch of Satan. Well, yes, in you your do. Movie. Look, and by by a touch of Satan, I mean like there is very little Satan in this movie. Um, there's some uh, off-screen Satan. Well, yeah, we get some voiceover Satan. Now we don't get you know. Do you know Satan is a woman? We don't get like the Satan in uh, Beast of the Yellow Knight. Oh, yeah, Satan's not a sassy Filipino man. No. In the... <laughs> a sassy, overweight Filipino man, And this man, is no. just uh, a woman who does voiceover. Yeah. Satan's a woman. I mean, it worked for the film. Yeah. but I we... don't have any complaints. But we'll get to that. So, actually, the first of the film is what I have the most complaints about. The Yeah, the opening is the it's worst. It's like the dullest thing. Well, it's, not the... it's like the most incompetent. Yeah. And then it just, like, for some reason, it just gets competent yeah but anyway let, so let's get into it so starts out we get a farmer and he's um taking his cow somewhere yeah and and it's just just it sounds like a bad voiceover yeah. i don't know if it was but it sounds the like the audio it, is really bad yeah he's like taking her and she he's like oh you're so stubborn I, blah 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 yeah i can't believe like you never want to like go inside when it's time to go inside yeah, and then he go. He finally gets her into the the yeah. barn, and he sees um. So he hears a little doll's yeah, like a little doll chuckle. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh, wh- what was that?" And then he goes over. And there's like a doll just sitting on a haystack, and 
then he dies through the power of slideshows. Yeah, it reminded me of Legacy of Blood, where yes. we're just like, uh, 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 you know. So they don't, you don't actually see him dying. It's just pictures. Yeah, so you see a pitchfork going into him, and it's and it shows a still of that frame. Yes, and then it's his, it shows a him, still of him, him being screaming. stabbed, and then another still. Yeah, then another still. Yes, as he's going down. Yes, and it's just like still, 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 yes. like stop motion. Yes, but bad stop motion for some reason. And while he's screaming on a voiceover overall. Yes. Like, yeah. Why? And then a lantern drops and mm -hmm. flames go up. And, and then some old woman runs away. Grabs the doll and runs away. Yeah. And then we get a family. Yeah. In, in a house. Well, and they're like mid-conversation, talking about something, and then this old woman just blasts through this <laughs> screen she's door. fucking like hulks through it. Just, oh, yeah. Just tears the no, shit out fucking, of it. And just like comes She in. fucking Hulk Hogan's through this thing like it's nothing. Yeah. Just... Bursts through this it and falls down. This frail old woman just fucking just shreds ass through this <laughs> screen door and fucking falls on the ground all yeah. bloody. And the family's like, ah, oh, you know, oh look, she's covered in blood. Like she got out again. Yeah. And they're all talking about like not again. This As happened. the mom takes her upstairs, well, per quote unquote mom. It never explains what they. No, are it doesn't. Again. I don't think that... Well, we know that it's not really her mom. Right. But we'll get to that. So, then they take her... She takes her upstairs, and her and her presumed dad start talking, and she's like, you know what? It's been nine years. And before that, three years. So it's like they're talking... The implication is that it's been nine years since she killed someone, and before that, three years. And then you get the opening title. The opening credits. And we're just like... Oh no, this is shit. Yeah, like what the f what the fuck? This is trash. At first, I was like confused because I was like, we had no fucking clue what was happening. I had no idea what was yeah. going on. They didn't explain jack Some shit. Some old woman murders somebody, and they're just like nine years, nine three years. years. Like we're supposed to know what's going on. We're just like uh, what? I mean, yeah, it's it's setting up like you know what's gonna happen in the film, but really poorly, like really bad. Mm -hmm. So we get Jody. Driving down just the... In California, he's, like, driving down the coast. Driving down the coast. And he pulls into this gas station to get some to get some gas. Mm -hmm. And starts talking to the guy there, and he asks some questions about the town, and the guy's being, like, really cryptic. Yeah, he's like... he's like um, So Jody's like, oh, not, it's a nice town you got here, really quiet. and like, like, well, it's not that quiet. Yeah, except for all the murders, though. Yeah, he's like, what are you talking about? Oh well, last last week, old man Larson was uh, killed by his at his farm, and it. <sighs> and then Jody's like, "Oh, that's horrible." Yeah. Like, who did they catch him? And like, no, they're still on the lookout for. And him. I don't think they're ever gonna catch him. Just must, being... And then he says, "Must be one of those thromicidal maniacs." Thromicidal maniacs. Yes. That is not a word. And Jody's like, hmm. Thromicidal, huh? Kind of like sarcastic. It's like, yep, thromicidal maniacs. And then he drives off. Thromicidal isn't a word. I don't. Well, and do like, I have to mention that? The gas station attendant wasn't like. He wasn't like. They weren't trying to make him out like he was like. Um, like a country like, bumpkin? Yeah, couldn't like speak English Apparently, or anything. That is what he is. He was just talking about how people. Why, I don't get why, like, you know, casual conversation people just bring up how a bunch of people were murdered, but, you know. I don't know. Well, when your town has uh, a serious Satan problem. It's not like I walked down, guess the, you do. wa walked down the street and some guy asked me for directions and I'm like, you know, we've had a lot of murders down there, so you shouldn't go down there. Like, we've... Does your town, yeah, but do you have a Satan problem in your uh, neighborhood? N maybe. I don't know. That's, see, if you did, you would tell people. I don't have an old lady running around smashing through fucking <laughs> screen doors. <laughs> And murdering people with pitchforks, that's for sure. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, this is a very, uh, very hardcore little town. Yeah, exactly. His first thing, just, oh, man, those murders. Yeah. I know, that's like, that's like his first thing he says, too, is like, just, oh, those murders, they're terrible. Yeah. There's like five fucking people in this town. And we see half of them murdered through this movie. <laughs> I know. Uh Small town in California is a bit of an understatement. Mm -hmm. um, 
So Jody drives, drives, off. drives off down the coast again. And then he pulls up and there's like this dirt road. And then he like looks at something in his rear view. And we're oh, like, yeah, he looks at the dirt road in his rear view. Yeah, and he's like, and we're like, does he see something? Yes. What's going on? So he backs up and then he goes on this little country road. Yes, which we, uh, I mean, they, they do explain it. Yeah. But when we were watching it. In that moment, we were just like, why the fuck? Well, they, they make it so much, such a cryptic scene, even though it's not, like, yeah. nothing's going on. He's just, like, he's just deciding to go yeah. into this country road. But they explain it. They do explain and it. And that is commendable. It is. Many things are commendable. Many things are commendable in this. Right. Shockingly. Except for calling yourself a better than Rosemary's baby. Uh, yeah, that's, uh... Don't do that. That's not commendable. Don't do that. But, okay. It's like, it's like when Bigfoot tried to say it's better than King Kong on its poster. Don't do that. Yeah, just don't. No. Um, so he drives up this country road to a lake, and he decides to have himself a little picnic. Yeah. So he just, he skips rocks on the pond and, like, lays down this little napkin and yeah. starts eating the sandwich. And then you hear, <laughs> In the distance. Yeah. And then, like, it shows Jody's view, but, like, it's... It's like a... Yeah. It's, like, way back. Pretty like, far back. Like, she's, yeah. like, way the fuck back. Yeah. And then it just zooms in on her. And she's just, like, looking at him. Kind yeah. of a creepy moment. I yeah. guess. Maybe unintentionally creepy. I don't know if it was unintentional, but it's... Yeah. So she walks over to him. And they have a awkward little conversation. She's like, he's like, oh, is is this yours? Is this your pond? She's like, no, it's my father's. He's like, oh, well, will he mind me skipping rocks on this pond? She's like, no, I don't think that would be a problem. And you know, who are you? Like, oh, I'm Jody. Yeah, this, I'm Melissa. My dad owns a walnut ranch. Yeah, <sighs> walnut ranch. Yeah, and then. She's like, do you want to come see it? Yeah. And he's like, well, I don't have much going on, Yeah. so sure. Yeah. So they go to the Walnut Ranch. Holding hands. Holding hands, yeah. All of a sudden. Very adorable. Yeah. Adorable. Yeah. Just cute as hell. It's fucking, it's just, yeah, this movie's so adorable. So they get to the ha- the Walnut <laughs> Ranch. <laughs> they drive to the Walnut Ranch. The Walnut Ranch, ranch has no walnuts in they it. They never mention walnuts ever no. again. You couldn't just say the farm. No. Walnut Ranch. Walnut Ranch. Every movie has a farm. So they... We can't have a fucking farm. We no. We have a we, Walnut Ranch. We have to be, we have to be edgy. Whatever. Walnut Ranch. <laughs> you so... know those walking walnuts? You just have a fucking ranch for them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, they go inside and meet her mother. Family. Her, yeah, her her family. She introduces her him. She introduces Jody to her presumed mother at that yeah. point, and she's like, "Oh, you brought company!" Like, mm-hmm. well, is kind of surprised. Yeah. And uh, you know, and then then she goes out and to her presumed dad to her presumed dad, and, and he's not happy. He's not happy that she brought another guy over. Yeah. And she's telling him like supper is ready and to yeah. come meet this new guy. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, well, I'm just worried that something might happen. Yeah, she's like, oh, don't worry about it. Just tell Lucinda to stay in her, her room. Yeah. And you, Lucinda is the old woman from earlier. Yeah. So they go back in and the father is like, oh, you got to try some of my apple cider. My apple cider. What does my- it say? My peanuts in it. My secret is I put peanuts in it to make it smoother or something like that. Not walnuts. Peanuts. Peanuts. Even though they're on a walnut ranch. Ain't no such thing as walnut ranches. Peanut. Yeah. So apparently you put peanuts in cider. And then like he pours the glass and Jody awkwardly drinks it. Well, no, Jody Jody doesn't drink it. He watches the father chug the fucking thing. Man, that's good. And then he drinks it. But yeah, as he after he chugs, he just yells out like we jumped because he just drinks it just like glub 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 man, man that's, that's good, good. <laughs> <Just> like... <laughs> reminds me of one of those people in like those beverage commercials yeah. where they like drink something they're like ah yeah that's, that's good. good Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's crisp 
with extra peanuts. <laughs> that should have been like a product placement. Seriously. <laughs> oh man. They have so, dinner. They have dinner. Uh, I'm, I'm having trouble describing all these things because they're kind of mundane, stupid. It's just it's, it's just character set, it development. Just, it's just set up. Yeah. It's set up. I mean, they talk about like you know what he's doing there, who he is, etc. Right. They go to bed. Well, at first, at first, because at first, um, he's like, okay, I guess I'll head out. And the daughter, what was her name? Melissa. 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 She's like, oh, you should, you can stay the night. And the pre- presumed parent just like, oh no, no. They're worried. Right, they're like, I think that's a bad idea. Yeah, and eventually... And we don't want to keep him if he yeah. doesn't want to stay. He decides to stay. Yeah. Because he wants that uh, satanic poontang. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what I thought his motivation was the entire time. Well, you're right. You are very accurate, my friends. Uh, <laughs> you know, like the every man in every 70s movie, he wants that sweet... Sweet uh, V. Satanic yes. V. Because right. that seems to only get him more interested. Exactly. It's so logical. So she takes him up and like shows him his room because she yeah. like the mother set up a, the sewing room as yeah. a bedroom. She leaves and he like starts getting ready and like he goes to the closet, up, hub, hanging up his coat. Yeah. And then he like he drops a hanger and like starts like yeah. picking it up. Someone goes, and you see someone entering the room. Because there's, like, decent shot, because he's in the closet, like, putting it away. And there's a, and there's mirror, a mirror on the and wall. And you see the mirror in the mirror, like, someone opening the door and walking in. Yeah, it was kind of a cool shot. And he turns around, and it's the old woman. And she tells him to go. Yeah. Yeah. Leave, to, yeah. you know, get out or whatever. And he, he scares the shit out of him. Yeah, because he actually looks, like, decently he's, He surprised. looks terrified, yeah. Like, they look... Like, he's not the greatest actor, but they yeah. look like they, like... Were like, okay, you're gonna drop a hanger, and then you just pick it up. Yeah. And then they just sent in the actress yeah. as he was picking it up. Freaked him out, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean... And then he, like, she goes out, and then he goes over to Melissa's room. Yeah, he talks to her. And is like, hey, like, there was this old... Are you sure you're, you three are the only ones here? Yeah. And that's when she's like, oh, my gra- my great-grandmother Lucinda mm-hmm. is here. Yeah. And he's like, what happened to her face? She got burned a long time she ago. She got burned a long time ago. Message! Um, <laughs> so, um... They, uh... He, she's like, okay, it's gonna be okay. Like, you know, she didn't mean to. And it, it also shows her going into Lucinda's room and, like, brushing her hair and saying, like, you're gonna stay in your room, okay? You're not going to wander around the halls anymore. Things like that. But we forgot. We forgot the walk. We forgot, yeah, before this, they go on a romantic walk. Did you know where fish live? Oh, that's right, yeah. They go to the pond again. They're at the pond, and she's like, that's the... (laughs) That's the pond. That's where fish live. (laughs) Like... No, she says, that's where the fish lives. That's where the fish lives, yeah. The fish. The fish. The sol- solitary fish. The one fish. That's where the fish lives. It's like, no shit, Sherlock. Wow. Really? really? Fish live in water? What? Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. They have a romantic conversation and they... She, uh... asks him, she asks him to stay longer. Yeah. For a couple days. Yeah. Um, they get to know each other some more. They cuddle... Then they go back, and that's yeah. They go that's back. the yeah, yeah. That's the scene I forgot to mention. So um, he's like obviously freaked out. Like she, so she's like, oh well, we'll wake up early tomorrow and we'll spend the whole day. We'll together. have the whole day to ourselves. Yeah, and they do. Yeah, they wake up and they, they just. She, he helps her around the farm a little bit, but then they just leave. Because she wants to go to the store in yeah, in, in the town yeah. And you also hear the parents talking, and they're like, what if he is, like, the one? Right, and she's like, he's staying a couple extra days. Yeah, and she's like, why aren't you saying anything? Aren't you, are you, un- aren't you unhappy? And he's like, the dad's like, yeah, I'm unhappy, but I can't do anything. Like, and, it's your choice. And the, the girl's like, that's the nicest thing I've ever heard yeah. you say, blah, blah, blah. Like, so they go, and then the cop shows up. Right. He's still investigating the murder of the other guy because his farm was right next to theirs. 
So he talks to the dad and looks around a bit, and um, <laughs> Melissa and Jody go to the town to the uh, like a general store. Right, and like they walk in, and everyone's like, "Oh, hi, Melissa!" And then they give her like a dirty. Look. Everyone gives her a dirty look. Yeah, so they everyone they go down the aisle, and Jody's like, uh, "Why were they giving you a dirty look? Like, why why does everyone look like like why does everyone look at you like you're something bad or yeah. something like that?" And she's like, "Oh, because they think I'm a witch." Just yeah, drops that bomb right well, there. Well, she also tells him in the store. Yeah. Oh, well, like. That he, and he's like, why do they think you're a witch? Because I am. Oh, because I am. Yeah. Just right there. Right there. Of course he doesn't believe her. Yeah, well, he thinks yeah, it's a no. joke. He thinks it's a joke. Right. And he's like, a witch? And everyone in the store immediately like looks over, like kind of spooked out, you know? <laughs> and then, so they grab all the stuff, and they like ring up, and yeah. then... As they're leaving... As they're we're... leaving, Jody just says, ZAP! Yeah. <laughs> ZAP! <laughs> just like... Reaches his arm out and just says, zap at all of them. Yeah. And then they leave, and, like, this woman in the store is like, young whippersnapper. <laughs> who was he? It's like, they didn't ask who he was when they went to the store. They just asked after he left. Yeah, after he went, zap! <laughs> and then Melissa's like, why would you, why'd you do that? Yeah, she's not And happy. he's like, oh, well, it makes me I sick. I hate people like that. It makes me sick. Yeah. But, you know. There's judgmental and right. things like that. And they keep talking, because he's a little, like, you know, she keeps telling him, like, I'm a witch. He's still, like, obviously, like, being like, no, it's nonsense. And, and she's, she's like, well, like, I want me to show you my, um... Where I do my witching... My thing. witching grounds or yeah, something? Yeah, my witching yeah. grounds, yeah. And he's like, okay. Yeah. Probably because he thinks he can score. Yeah. Um, As he's been through the whole movie. Yeah. And will continue to do so. Oh, yeah. And... <laughs> It cuts to the sheriff who is investigating some more, and he finds, um... He finds, like, a piece of cotton. It's, or no, it's, it's a hair. It's, it's hair. hair. It's white hair. Yeah, and then he finds a bloody plant. Yeah. <laughs> and then... And he finds the pitchfork. And then he finds the bloody pitchfork that they just stashed, like, in the... In the grass. In, on their property. Yes. Finds everything. Yeah. And then, so, it goes back to Jody and Melissa, and they're going to their, uh... Her witching grounds. So she shows him in, and well, she... it's it's a it's a cabin, right? That's just like uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So they go in, and she start. He's like, "So prove you're a witch." Mm. And she's like, "How do I prove I'm a witch?" And he's like, "Make, Make me, me dis disappear." Yeah. And she's like, "I don't want to do that. I wouldn't like that. Or yeah. I wouldn't like that. Yeah." <laughs> and he's like, "Okay, make someone appear." And I guess they were going for like a little joke. It's here. a joke. Yeah. Um, Her, the dad. The dad shows, shows up, up immediately. Door, yeah, and they're looking for um, the older woman. Yeah. Um, what, what was the older woman's name? Lucinda. Lucinda. Yeah. They're looking for Lucinda, and, and the dad is just like, "Oh, I'll, I'll look for her." Don't worry about it. You can stay here. You can stay here and enjoy yourselves. Yeah. And then I was just like, because <laughs> <laughs> he just like leaves and closes the door, and I'm just like, yeah. Fuck my daughter. That's, Seriously. That's... <laughs> like... The... Which... <coughs> I mean... <coughs> that is exactly what is happening. Yeah, I know. Like, that's what... Well, I mean, that's... Clearly, Jody's just trying... The, the yeah. entire time, that's what he's trying to do. She's like, yeah. You kids have fun. Close the yeah. door. Because Jody keeps talking about how he wants to, like, travel the countryside and, like... He, he go to San mentions Francisco earlier that his stuff. dad is a lawyer and... He wants him to be a lawyer, but he doesn't want to be a lawyer. He wants to just kind of travel the country and discover himself. So he doesn't want to slow down anywhere, and yeah. he wasn't looking for anyone in particular. No. But he found the one. Apparently. The one. Well, the one that wouldn't put out soon enough, so he, she, yeah. he had to go deep. And once she does, shit gets real. <laughs> Don't give too much away. I um, could not possibly... <laughs> So, they start looking for him, and then it goes back to the cop, and he's like, because he found evidence. Yeah. He goes to his co his squad car, and starts trying to hail the yeah the the, the sheriff's office, the sheriff's office, or whoever will like pick up. No and one's picking up. Is he sitting in the you, like you see a silhouette of something going yeah. behind? It's kind of actually no, it's a good shot. I'll, I'll get I'll give it I'll give it this. Yeah. It actually was kind of creepy because mm -hmm. you just see some like. 
form figure moving in the back. Yep. And then, oh no, sorry, we forgot to mention Lucinda was watching the cop gather the evidence with a hook. Yeah. She oh had yeah. A, she had a hook in her yeah. hand. And so, as he's like, as he's healing, she comes out from the door, stabs him, stabs him in the this throat. Is, this, no stills this time. No stills this was, time. Which was a welcome comfort. Yes. Like slits his throat with the hook. Yeah. And like just you see blood like, spraying out of it. An actual squib. It was yeah. Kinda, yeah. They actually tried on this one. Yeah. Um. So he falls to the ground. She's just she like, keeps stabbing him. She keeps stabbing him. And then Jody and Melissa drive up. And she immediately goes to help. To aid um, yeah. Lucinda. Yeah. And Lucinda and the mom take her back in the house. Now, I'm going to stop the narration at this point. Any sane person, after seeing an older woman from the family, mm-hmm. from the family, murdering a cop, mm-hmm. your first instinct would be to get the fuck out of there. Not if you're trying to get laid. Apparently. I, I, I don't understand it. He watches this. Oh, yeah. And he, he and when Luc- and when F- Melissa's out of the car, he his first instinct is not to just drive no. away. It's to just sit there and stare. He stares like horrified. I get shock. Yeah. I get that. You'd be in shock for a minute. Because he throws up. But you'd get the fuck out of there. No. So he stays long enough for the dad to go and grab and the keys. Grab his keys from car his keys. car. Yeah. While the while Jody's just puking and mm-hmm. standing, mind you, he's standing right next to his car, which oh, yeah. has the keys in it. Oh yeah. And he just takes the keys. The guy just takes the keys, and then um, locks and then takes J- and then he takes Jody and handcuffs him to something in like a little like shed. Mm-hmm. Then you get a surprisingly good. I think it was my favorite shot of the yeah, whole film. Yeah, because like, it was the only. It was the one that I was like, they actually they did that. tried. Like so, Melissa's like on the ground, just kind of like in shock, and the camera's just doing a three sixty around her. But the like the parents are taking care of the whole thing in the back right so it's rotating around and while the dad's like putting the cop in the car he's putting the cop in the car he's putting on the uniform and like everything important is in the you see it is in yes. the frame while it's rotating and it keeps rotating and it doesn't cut the whole time and each time it cut it swoops back around to the house you see like okay the dad has on the uniform now he then he gets in the car and then you see the car pulling away and driving off pretty impressive pretty fucking impressive i'll say i i'd say most of the cinematography in this is pretty good i would say that i would say cinematography good acting not so great like, story kind yeah. of dull kind of but but it makes more sense than literally everything we watched I mean, well yeah that's true surprisingly so the dad <laughs> the dad takes the car to a cliff and drives it and off. And drives the cop and car. And the motherfucking car explodes. Like, while rolling down the hill. Yeah. It's not flipping down the hill. It's just subtly rolling down you the hill what? and it explodes. I have no complaints. We got an exploding car. And then Melissa is talking to Jody, And again. She's like, stay one more day. Yeah. Let me convince. Just one more day. Let me convince you that all this is. Yeah. That I'm cursed. Yeah. Like, I am cursed and this is what's going on. Like, let me just convince you, stay one more day. He and, wants to run away with her. And Jody's like, well, I don't have any choice, do I? Yeah. And she's like, well, my father will be back and we'll, uh, we'll like, unlock you. Yeah. At that point, again, I would get, I would nope the fuck out. I'd be mm. like, bye, bitch, nope. I'm out of here. No. He's like, okay, I'll stay. Yeah. I don't know why. You know why. Oh, well, yeah, he's trying to score. Yes. That's this, the moral of the story is don't. Don't score with... Don't do this. Uh, <laughs> with with weirdo, hard-to-get, satanic women. Yeah. No. Find yourself a nice, like, Christian girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, after that, the next scene is we get a really awkward dinner scene where... No one's talking. No one's talking and no one's eating. Because they're all, like, especially Jody is, like, he has no appetite. 
And Jordy just gets up and goes to his room. Goes to sleep. Yeah. And um, then Melissa goes to the, like, witch cabin. Mm -hmm. She gets out an old piece of cloth, which we find out later, is her... So, oh, we forgot to mention, Lucinda is her sister. Oh, yeah, that's right, because she goes and talks to Lucinda. Yeah. And she's like, she's like, I'm going to lock the door now. Don't don't disturb anyone. Okay, sister? Yeah. So, yeah, they're sisters. And in what she basically does is she has, like, a seance, sort of. And as Jody is sleeping, she, like, basically has him dream of her past, of what happened. And then shows these, like, angry villagers marching with torches. Saying, burn the burn witch. Burn the witch. Burn the witch. And I was just like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. It goes to, like, 1844 or something. Yeah, like it goes way back in time. Yeah. Everyone's dressed up, like, olden days. And they go to this guy's house, and they tell him... So the guy's, like, reading a Bible to his family, yeah. and you see... You see the, um, Melissa. And her sister. And her sister. Yeah. Who he calls, um, uh, what's the sister's name? Lucinda? Yeah. Yeah. He, he actually mentions her name as Lucinda. Yeah. So you, you get to see what happens to Lucinda yeah. in this scene. So, uh, there's an angry mob. He keeps reading the Bible. Lucinda keeps saying, like, I hear something. Yeah. I hear something, Papa. They're coming for us. Yeah, and then he, like, finally hears it, and he goes out, he's like, oh, let me go see what's going on. Mm -hmm. So he goes out, and this is the worst acting of the film. The people who played the mob oh, are my terrible. Oh, they're so bad. Are terrible. They're so bad. This they're is, fucking like, bad. It, it kind of gave me flashbacks to every other single movie. Yeah. Movie. I was getting too comfortable. Yeah. Because, I mean, the acting's not good in this it's movie. It's passable. It's passable, but it, it's not great. But and then you get to the mob. Then you get to the mob, and it goes and right terrible. back to like. But at least that. But it, to their credit, it only lasts for like one minute. Yeah. Because so, they, the explanation they give is that everybody else in the village has had bad things happen to them. One guy lost cows. His wife is sick. Another person's like daughter died. Yeah. Everyone's had something bad happen, except for this family, and they are saying it's because the daughters are witches. And there is, like, a hex on the people. Yep, on the town. Yeah. So they break in. So the dad tries to fight it and be like, no. no and then he's like, Lucinda, run, Lucinda. Yeah. And, like, they, you know, trample over him. And then they grab Lucinda and take her to the wood, like, a tree. Yeah. And they tie her up. And they keep saying, burn the witch, burn the witch. Yeah. And then they throw, they throw a, a torch. torch. And it starts lighting on fire, and she starts burning. And then she gets real. Yeah, and then, and then her, her Lucinda's sister Melissa. Yeah. Um, gets up, finally breaks away from the crowd. Yeah. And like gets in, and then you hear this voiceover. Uh huh. And it's like, "Do you want to save your sister?" Yeah. I am. They use some like Lovecraftian quotes. I am. I am. <laughs> it's like I am a friend of the night. Something, something. It's a Lovecraft reference. Yeah, it's from a short story by H.P. Yeah. Lovecraft. So. Which, clever. Yeah, but I'm. Give that. Um, and then she's like, "If you want to save, if you want to save your sister, um, say yes." Yes. And she's like, "Yes." And she's like, um, "Like raise up your hand." Yeah. And she raises up her hand in a fist. Yeah. And she's like, "Now bring it down and like extinguish the flame." And she extinguishes the flames and then immediately like basically curses out the whole village says their firstborns are gonna be born with warts and hives yeah. and like <laughs> says like all their cattle will, will die. die your crops will die yeah every <laughs> man just every hex she can give them everything that's what she everything does. will be bad so um, she gets Melissa down, uh, sorry, gets Lucinda down. And she's, like, obviously burned, and that's how you know, like, why her face is all fucked up. Yep. So, it then shows that her family, uh, disowned her. Yeah, basically this, saying yeah. that they are witches. Yeah. And they've cursed this land. Yeah. And, you know, disowning them. Yeah. So then, uh, Jody wakes up and goes to the, um... The witching house. The witching house. And... They, uh, she tells them, like, you have to believe that this is, like, important. 
Right. You have to believe me and everything I say, and then you can save me. And after all that, Jody still doesn't believe No. Him. Still He's skeptical. No. But that's when he professes his... Well, he professes his love multiple his times. His loves. Well, no, yes. this is when he actually says, I yes. love you. And he's like, you, okay, these. Yes. let me remind you, the audience, let me remind all of you, they have known each other for a day and a half. Mm-hmm. A day and a half. And he already loves her. It's dedication. Yeah. Because he wants to score. It's dedication to the game. Yeah. Everybody is. <laughs> Um, so, and there's like, they, they, they explain other things like, <coughs> um, she tells him basically that the reason he came down that dirt road in the first place was because he was being guided by Satan, essentially. Right. That he was being guided by darker powers. And. And then she's cursed and like the reason she is cursed because she wanted to save her sister. Yeah. An altruistic. And he has to believe yeah. her to save her. Right. And you see... Lucinda in her room freaking the fuck out. Weird jump cuts too. Like it it the movie went like stupid for a second. It went batshit. It went so he insane. Cuts to her like, in her room and she's just fucking flipping out. Yeah, she, it's like jump cutting to her like freaking yeah. out and like doing all this stuff. You know what she does? And then she grabs a chair. She gives him the chair. Yeah, she does. It's like a WWE up in there. Yeah. Like they open the door and a fucking chair just flies. She just slams the chair into one of them. It breaks like, into a million pieces. And then she just runs off. And like <laughs> we're like, what? What just happened? Like she just fucking. It's like Stone yeah. Cold Steve Austin just. Yeah. Psh, give him the chair. <laughs> just <laughs> seriously. Uh, uh, she runs out and gets to the witch cabin, and starts like trying beating the shit out of him. Yeah, beating the shit out of Jody. Just. For, yeah, we're like I was like we were like what the fuck is this <laughs> seriously, and, and then like, he, he runs away, and Melissa lights her the fuck on fire. Yeah, she's like burn the bird witch, witch. burn, <laughs> and then like just lights her the fuck on fire. Her own sister, yeah. who she almost watched die just the same way, mm -hmm. and she has no qualms about burning her alive. Mm -hmm. For a fucking guy. Yep. Well, to be fair, to be fair, if you think about it, it does make sense. You want me to explain it to you? I think you need to explain it to the audience. Okay. Well, basically, if she 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 knows that if she does this scheme, then she's going to be free of uh, the satanic... Possession right. or whatever. Because Lucinda's obviously... Yes. Lucinda can't. She's, she can't control herself. She's killing, like, a bunch of yes. people. She's getting worse and worse. And if the logic of the movie is that you have to, like, I don't know, basically have sex with someone who is not satanic to free yourself, Lucinda's shit out of luck. <laughs> she is shit out of luck, okay? Yeah, she's bad shit so fucking insane. she knows that if her sister does this, she's gonna be free and Lucinda's gonna be fucked. So that's the logic. Will, you gotta think movie is it explains it to you k poor lucinda just gets burned well, to fucking death i guess my problem is she she just does it without even like questioning it she just no she's burn witch and then like immediately yeah her own sister she has no yeah. she doesn't like pause you know why she doesn't have a Cause... moment of repose <laughs> it's just burn witch Cause she has that holy unsatanic dick on her mind and no sister is gonna get in the way Bro, She's not gonna let her cock block. She thirsty, okay? <laughs> <laughs> She's not gonna let a sister get in the way of that. Oh my god. A sister that's been with her for 150 years? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> oh god. Just. <laughs> Sorry, sis, I got that dick on my mind. Burn, witch! So they burn, and the whole cabin burns down. Whole fucking thing. Not joking. Yeah, just the and they they show it. They were proud yeah. of this bur the, the burning cabin. I mean, good they job. They just show it like just completely collapsing. They even show the cinders. Oh yeah, they're still like on like you know simmering. Mm -hmm. And then it's the next day, and we thought the movie was about to cock block us. Yeah, I thought it was about to end. It shows Jody leaving. Yeah, and like the dad's 
Well, now we don't know who he is. It's just I think Walter is his name. Luther. Luther. Yeah, that's right. Like it just he. We don't know who they are in yeah. relation. Just probably some family that let them stay there. Yeah. Um, and so Luther is like, I'm sure we can't change your mind, and he's like, I'm sorry, I just don't believe her. I don't believe her. After all that, all of that, he doesn't believe her. Yeah. He. She lit her fucking sister on fire. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. He doesn't believe it. But it doesn't matter because uh, something changes his mind. Well, well, I mean, so Jody gets in his car. Drives he off. Drives off. And we I, thought the movie was going to end. I thought it was going to end because it showed him almost going into the distance. Yeah. But he, like, pulls over on the road and turns around. Turns around. And goes back to the dirt road where we first saw him. Goes back to the pond. Yep. And then where he first met her. And Lucinda's there. Melissa. Oh, sorry, no, Melissa. Sorry. Lucinda's gone now. Lucinda's uh, a pile of ashes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, Melissa's there, and they start talking again. And He's like, I love he's you. He's like, I don't care if you have the soul of the devil. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. S- tender moment. Very tender. And then they, and then they get down. He finally gets it. So it's such a weird scene because, like, they start kissing with clothes on, but and then it cuts. Goes, it goes up to a close up of them kissing, and, and then it pulls away, and they're both naked. Yeah. You know what that is? That's good editing. For a porno, maybe. Oh please, that's like that's art. Oh, it's fucking art. Oh my god. So. Um, they, they get down. Yeah. Finally. Finally. You know, they both get what they wanted. Yeah. You know, and, uh. After she burns her sister alive and he sees them murdering people and. Yeah. You know, it's fine. It's fine. As long as they had sex, it's okay. It is. Sex fixes everything. Apparently. Uh, yeah. It fixes, uh, the touch of Satan. But unfortunately, it backfires. <laughs> yeah. Because. It shows, you know why? Him, it shows him laying down. Bitch be old. And Melissa, like, drags her hand across Jody's back. And you see her hand it, is, It's uh, all, like... Fucked up. Wrinkled, old, yeah. has liver spots all over We it. were immediately like, what the fuck? What? Her hand's and, like, And yeah. then, like, she has the voice of an old person now. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, what's wrong, Jody? <laughs> and then, like... <laughs> he's like, my God, your face! And, like, yeah. it shows her, like, aging. Yeah. Which... These are the facts. So what I don't get is why why was sex the answer? Because the director of this movie saw Cat People and decided to do a reverse of Cat People. Yeah. Because in Cat People, if she has sex, she turns into a monster. And this movie is the other way around. Yeah. If you have sex, it fixes it. Yeah. It's like a it's like a really bad it follows. Yes. All yeah, it follows cat people. I say cat people because this was Oh yeah, well, it follows yeah, cat us obviously pe- yeah, cat way pe- after this. Yeah, right. Cat people was before. But that's like the classic of like the whole thing is if she has sex she turns into a cat. Right. Whereas in this, they thought they were clever and would do a reverse. Yeah, so sex solves the problem. And also again, they mentioned Rosemary's baby in the poster. Rosemary's baby has is about obviously a woman who gives birth to, you know, whatever. Yeah. And they obviously are going for that type of vibe with all the sex and whatever. Yeah. So she turns old and decent effect because... It actually does show her, like, aging because like, at first really rapidly. We were, at first I wasn't, like, convinced because she just has, like... A little bit of wrinkles. And, and like... I'm just like, that's it? But no. Then it shows her face becoming, like, older and older. Yeah, it's like a time-lapse thing, which is yeah. kind of cool. Which is, I'll give him that. Um, and then, so he's like, no, no, you can't die. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, no. And What's then you do? hear Satan's voice. Mm-hmm. Be like, you want to save her? Yeah. He raises his fist in the sky, and he's like, yes. And she's like, no, not this way. Not this way. And then he... She doesn't want to. And then he, she's, the devil's like, if you want to save her, touch her face. Yeah. And so he touches her face, and she goes young again. She goes young again. And then he's like, he's like, I, I, I am cursed now, but like at least we can be together yeah. or something like that. So there is no, uh, yeah. So now they're both cursed. Uh, well, is she cursed though? Yeah, pretty sure. I mean, well, how else would she be young again? 
I don't know. They're both cursed. You know what they, you know what that means? Hmm. They need a threesome. <laughs> Apparently. Because <laughs> the movie ends. Yep, the movie ends. The movie ends. And that's where... where uh, that's where uh, the touch of Satan is. In it's inside s- your genitals. Yep. It's where you have sex. It's... Yeah. Message! Um... So, so you, you know what the message is? Abstinence. Maybe. Maybe that's what they were going for. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So, uh... I don't know what your what were your final thoughts on the film. I I don't know. I I found it kind of. It's okay. It's 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 okay. It's not. Here's my theory. This is the lowest rated horror movie from 1971. Right. Which is a little disappointing because this is not at that bad. Not really. as bad as we've watched. We've watched. I might as well go. F- I didn't say it. If we're talking actual, like, filmmaking quality, this is the best one. Like, that was way worse. Yeah. Every movie from this year has been worse. Like, there maybe have been others that are more entertaining. Brain of Blood was hilarious. (laughs) But if we're talking actual filmmaking and, like, craft, this is the best one. Yeah. So what's your theory on why it was low Here's my theory. This is a slow movie. Yes. And I think... My theory is most people can't handle a slow horror movie. Okay, that's fair. They want jump scares and, like, you know, over-the-top things happening. And I think this is a little too slow for that. But it's not... It's... it's Another thing is, that like, since it's not a great movie, like, the acting is not great or anything it like that. It doesn't keep your interest. It's, it's, like, it doesn't maintain greatness... So as a result, like, you can't watch this and be like, oh man, this is a really great slow movie. I think you're correct, because honestly, if I was watching this just by myself, I probably would have turned it off yeah. in the first 20 minutes, because nothing fucking mm-hmm. happens, and it looks like a bad movie in the mm-hmm. first 20 minutes. It really does. Yeah. Like, I would have turned it off. I would have been like, you know what? No, yeah. I'm good. So that's my theory, is I think it's just... I, it's just too slow? That's not me criticizing it, because I don't give a shit. Like, I don't have a problem with slow horror movies, so... I don't either. I... I mean, it, it's not a good horror because movie. Because at the very least, like, in its own ridic- weird logic, this has the the plot in this makes way more sense than and, any fucking movie we've watched. Yeah. Any movie. It has, it actually has a pretty coherent yes, plot. Yes, the plot's coherent. And it, like, things that they mention earlier are, ex- are, like, then, like, they mention them again. Like, like, Amazing Grace you hear Amazing Grace earlier in the movie, and then you hear it again when they're burning the witch. Yeah. Or, like, why he turned down the dirt road. Things like that are explained, and they make sense. Right. Shocking. I, I probably wouldn't watch this movie on my own. Mm-hmm. But, probably not. But I wouldn't have even bothered watching it to begin with. But, I mean, if you do want to watch it, there is a, a pretty good... Yeah. Um, it, it just search the the touch of satan 1971 of satan. Mm-hmm. it's a creature creations um youtube channel yeah. i don't know i can uh, maybe plug the yeah the youtube channel because mm-hmm. it, it, it provided us yeah you know, the the movie so yeah that was good and he gives some insights at the yeah. end in the beginning About, like the lovecraft reference yeah what are your thoughts on this i don't know like i didn't think it was a good movie mm-hmm but it's certainly not the worst. No. Um, like I said, I think I get the whole why it's so bad. Just the first 20 minutes were bad. I mm-hmm. will admit. Like, the meat of the film is almost, like, towards the end. Like, the if you, better... If you, if you improve that beginning, I think... I think the, the, the beginning just makes it seem like any movie we've already watched. Yeah. Like, it, it sets itself up like it's just another schlock fest yeah like with a slideshow death right but actually it's not uh, it i'm trying to stress this because it's not that good no i'm not trying to say it's a good horror movie Mm-mm. i'm just trying to say out of the ones we've watched it's the best one we've watched so far it's the best actual movie the horror is not there it, it doesn't build atmosphere there's some i mean there's some spooky stuff but it's more effective as actual horror than anything we've watched previously it's true and there is slight atmosphere, and, like, it's got some good music, 
and it's got good cinematography. The acting's passable. It's not it's not bad to like where you're laughing. I would say Melissa's sometimes that was pretty laughable. She's just she's on that I don't like, know what Yeah. Like they must have had some weird acting directions for her cuz mm-hmm. like she does some weird stuff in the film. But Which I kind mean, of it kind of fits in the it movie. It kind of works, but you're not sure if it's intentional. So my final thoughts is I don't think this deserves a 2.1 on IMDb or like I think as it's low. even is it even I think it's even lower than that. Might be. Um, I don't think I don't think yeah. it deserves a lower the low the lower rating than all the other movies. The we've thing watched. about this, the only movie that has a lower rating than this out of we the ones that we've watched is Monos. Yeah, which is strange. Well, Monos is this has a lower garbage. rating than Octoman will. I know, which is weird, because it doesn't have any octop octopus men coming out of an rv yes and like or just n- things that don't get explained right like tiny octopuses this has a lower rating than legacy of blood <laughs> for fuck's sake i see i, I don't, don't i don't think it deserves that it doesn't deserve to be like a well well-renowned horror film yeah i know and, it, and it's forgettable mystery science theory did a thing on this yeah and i can't even imagine like what there is to riff on I mean, there might be some stuff. Maybe some, but compared to other things, like, really, think I would, about it. I would say it's probably one of the weaker MST3Ks, mm-hmm. um, just because, there's, like you said, there's not, like, that much very laughable scenes. Yeah. Like, I didn't find myself laughing no. at any, like, particular scene. No. Except for the batshit insane, where she goes crazy and throws the chair. Yeah. She you threw know. a fucking chair and knocked them the fuck out. Right. Fucking Steve Austin, that bitch. But... <laughs> I don't think, uh, I, d- I didn't think it was that bad, surprisingly. Um, if you want to watch it, it's on YouTube. That's my final thoughts on the film. Do you have any final thoughts on 1971? Boy, it's been a rough ride. What's the worst? Boy, that's hard. Is it? I know. I what. would say most boring Legacy of Blood. That's easy for me. And then I would say worst, I would, I would say Zat. Zat uh, was, Zat was bad. No. Legacy of Blood. You would say Legacy Everything. of Blood? Everything. Everything. I've never felt more annoyed. I, I mean, know. that's a Blood's bullshit. I felt more annoyed during fucking Bigfoot. But that was last... That was 1970. I think... I still think... Honestly, I think Zat's the worst film. I think I was, like, facepalming more Zat than I was... They're both bad. Like, there's no doubt about that. But Zat had the very progressive uh, racial politics... Progressive or just like inserted in for no reason? No, I'd say accidental. Probably. They had a black guy. But they also. And they're like, you know what? Let's just have some. But they also had like weird like Zat overdosing and like the the (laughs) the giant walking catfish. It's a metaphor about the opioid epidemic. The the giant walking catfish that were supposed to be taking over the Mm -hmm. town. Like there was no need for any of that, and they kept it in the film. Yeah, because if Um, they had because if they cut it out. There would be no movie. This is why Zat, and then they have that weird, like, kumbaya <laughs> music part. Um, oh, man, I love the Doobie Brothers, Well, Like, <laughs> the thing is, just like, Legacy of Blood, yes, it was, it was, it was horrendous. But Zat just got everything <laughs> wrong. Like, I so did Legacy of Blood. Like, I don't know, they're, they're pretty neck and neck, but I would say Zat wins it for me. Zat is better for me because there's a shitty a man in a shitty costume who smacks people to death. Well, there's also a guy. Here's how I could rank bad movies: by I rank them by the the things that happen, and Zat has more things. It's true. Now I don't mean good things. Oh no! I just mean things like walking catfish that don't actually walk, or a man in a costume, or um, a kumbaya song sequence. Or how, for some fucking reason, he has to get into a goddamn, like, fucking hospital thing, strap himself in, and then lift himself into a fucking pool. He, why can't he just jump in it? Well, uh-huh. makes you think. Now, see, you're complaining about Zat, and it makes me think that you hated Zat more. No, Zat's my second. Or is it just because Zat had those things? It has those things, Will. Zat made me... Let's put it this way. Zat made me feel more 
than Legacy of Blood. And that's important. I would say Legacy of Blood, like... Though I had one emotion during Legacy of Blood. Anger? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, I had two emotions. Anger and confusion. And two is better than one. So Zat wins. <laughs> I don't know. I still think Legacy of Blood is worse. I still put Zat as second worst. Okay, that's fair. What's your second favorite? Second favorite? Because I'm guessing your favorite is this. Yes, my favorite has been this. I would say Corpse Grinders was 71, right? Yeah. Corpse Grinders. I, for me, it's Brain of Blood. Really? Yeah. That plot is nonsense. It's garbage. It's amazing. It's fucking ludicrous. But Corpse Grinders was fun. I thought Corpse Grinders was, for what it was, it's just a cheesy... It's charming. ...grindhouse film. It's charming. Like, it just works. It has those little touches. It's supposed to be grimy. It's supposed to be, you know, stupid and silly. It has those touches. Like, the woman with the doll, and she, like, has a separate uh, seat at the table for the doll, and she pours the soup for the doll. You know, little touches. Or the I whole mean, thing with the secretary and how she takes off her clothes when she pours a beer. I know. And the cat's know. going crazy. It was it was just ludicrous and I, I kind of... I didn't like yeah. fully enjoy it because I still thought it was a really bad movie. But I would say out of the ones we've watched, that was my that was my second favorite. Yeah, I can say that. Yeah. That was enjoyable. So yours was Brain of Blood? Yeah. That... I don't even know. that. Yeah, you do. That film was bonkers how'd you find us it's fucking insane like i can't even fucking i you so, almost forgot that there was a transplant and they wrapped him like a fucking thanksgiving yeah, ham and it's the actor yeah do you think they had like a, a breathing hole for his nose in the tinfoil so he no. wouldn't suffocate <laughs> <sighs> yeah i it, 71's been a ride 72 is gonna be even i I don't know. 72 is going to be bad, too, I think. I mean, the whole point is that we're watching bad movies. But we're finally getting into action movies, which I'm excited yeah. about. So, like, we've been doing a lot of horror, and, like, when we started this podcast, I wanted to do action and horror. So now that we're... Or we wanted to do action yeah. and horror. So now that we're actually, like, finally getting into where action movies started becoming more relevant, uh, we're getting more action movies. Kung Fu movies, well. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be bad, but... Well, it's going to be really bad, <laughs> but at least we'll finally get some... Ooh, that dubbing. Oh. You know yeah. it's going to be dubbed. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want it to be dubbed. Yeah. Because with dubbing, you get maximum things. Well, also, you get really bad voice actors, which yes, is going to be great. which is for our Un sake. Underpaid, <laughs> don't give a fuck because they're not getting paid voice actors. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be great for us. It's going to be great. We'll have much more material coming. Um, sorry we only put out one episode this week. I was really under the weather on Thursday, so we couldn't uh, record one that day. Um, but we're back on schedule. We'll start putting out two episodes every week. Um, for They mostly come out at night. This has been 1971. And this has been Will. And this has been Alex. And we'll talk to you all later. Bye.